Okay. Mm, chapter four, forecasting. Forecasting is um, predict future using uh, past. And for uh, our uh, um, individual life, uh, maybe uh, different uh, forecasting uh, important uh, to individually. But uh, uh, for me, I like to play golf. So uh, my most uh, uh, important forecasting is the weather. So uh, uh, somebody asked me to uh, play golf together with the uh, uh, weekend. Then I checked the uh, no forecast, no weather forecast. No. But uh, for company, demand is the important. Uh, the most important uh, forecasting. So uh, forecasting and demand uh, management uh, very related. Purpose, coordinating and controlling all sources of demand so the productive system can be used efficiently and the product delivery on time. So by uh, forecasting, Forecast the future demand. Then, uh, if we know uh, the amount of future demand, then uh, based on that uh, demand, we can uh, plan uh, production plan and then scheduling and so on like that. So, demand management is uh, part of forecasting. And then uh, there are two types of uh, demand: dependent demand and independent demand. The dependent uh, demand for the uh, product of uh, service caused by the demand for other products or services. And the independent demand is demand is not uh, derived uh, directly from that of other uh, product. Earlier, uh, when we cover uh, MRP system, I mentioned uh, this one. Uh, Briefly, um, if a company uh, produces a car, then final product, car, and then uh, like parts, a tire, then uh, this uh, final product, car's demand is independent demand. And then parts such as the tires demand is dependent demand. So uh, based on the uh, final product demand, automatically we know part uh, or component demand. So uh, final product is independent demand and then part component uh, Mm, resource uh, demand is uh, dependent demand. And if demand, uh, actual demand uh, move like this, then a uh, component of this demand, average demand for the period, Add all uh, demand and divide by the number of terms. Now, every Z demand. Seasonal elements up and down and up and down. The same pattern come again and again. Seasonal. If uh, the term is uh, like one year. Uh, move the same pattern uh, every year, repeat, such as uh, ice cream demand. Uh, during the summer, high, 
and winter low. So if uh, it is one, uh, three years term, then uh, ice cream demand looks like you know, up and down, up and down, up and down like this. So during the summer, high demand, uh, high demand, but during uh, winter, uh, low demand, same pattern again and again. So that is a seasonal element. Every year, same pattern repeat. And cyclical element, same pattern come again and again, but the term is uh, not uh, every year maybe um, every other year, every three years, same pattern come, a, come again and again repeat, then uh, we call this a cyclical element. Same, but the term is one year and uh, two or more years. Random variation move randomly. There is no pattern. And then trend here, this one up and down, up and down, up and down, short term knee, but long term knee increase. So trend can be increasing demand, decreasing demand, maybe uh, stable demand uh, trend. And then types of uh, trend. This one, linear trend, linear trend, straight line. This one, curve, S-curve trend or non-linear trend. And then this uh, product life cycle looks like Looks like this. So four phases. Introduction, growth, and uh, marcher, and then decline. This S curve about here. So typical product uh, life cycle trend looks like this. And then uh, asymptotic trend and uh, exponential trend. Between this one and this one, which one is typically new product trend? New product trend. This one is a uh, trend for a new product because in this product life cycle, introduction part look the same. So first time it is uh, introduced, then uh, demand increasing is not much, but later, increasing rate is high. This one is about here. So already introduced and then uh, already saturate. Product market uh, trend. And forecasting two types, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative, without uh, numeric data, forecast uh, based on subjective and judgmental opinion. Um, when I was uh, in uh, Alabama, then I, uh, met uh, hundred people and then uh, I asked them, 
uh, what is the next year's um, uh, next year's uh, demand for a certain car? Then uh, they said um, maybe about uh, ten percent increase from this year. So if I'm a um, dealer, then I prepare based on uh, their uh, opinion. Oh, um, yeah, that uh, ten percent that can be numeric data, but not based on uh, the previous or uh, the uh, past data, just their opinion. So, based on just opinion, we forecast that is uh, qualitative. And then quantitative. There are two types: time series analysis and causal relationship. Based on past data, the same, the same. Based on past data, but time series analysis. Uh, if you know, um, this quantitative uh, forecast method usually find equation. In this equation, this one is independent variable. And then this one, y is dependent variable. So if we know independent variable, then uh, we forecast dependent variable. Like uh, ice cream demand, ice cream demand, and then uh, weather, uh, the, the temperature. So if we know temperature and then uh, we can uh, forecast in, uh, ice cream demand like this. So this one will be X and then this will be Y uh, variable. In time series, if X variable related time, so time change, then uh, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. So if X variable is time related data, then uh, using that time, series data forecast that there is no time series analysis. So based on uh, this time series analysis, we can find the trend, seasonal, and cyclical element. And then using that pattern, we can forecast. Causal relationship, same. Use this uh, equation, but Dependent uh, and independent and dependent variable like this. There is cause, temperature change, then a kind of result, cause and effect. So th this one temp temperature can be cause of this uh, uh, ice cream demand. So using relationship and then find uh, forecast and Y variable that is causal relationship. So demand is related to some underlying factor or factors like a temperature or a size of a customer and so on. And then usually we can use linear re regression technique for both. I will talk about this one uh, later. And more in detail, qualitative uh, technique in forecasting, judgmental method, based on process of collecting educated opinions from individuals or group. Like an, I asked the uh, uh, people, um, maybe uh, 
top managers. So uh, their uh, opinion, maybe I can use the sales force in the dealer shop, uh, sales force in the uh, opinion. So you using uh, collect their uh, their opinion and then use their opinion then uh, forecast. That is judgmental method. And secondary source information using publish it uh, data or publish it opinion, such as a you know, consumer market uh, survey or uh, poor and standard uh, index or uh, using a uh, Wall Street Journal uh, search index, then uh, uh, secondary uh, source, using secondary source, then uh, uh, forecast. Delphi method, this one is similar to judgmental method, but the group is uh, consists of the experts. So ask experts like uh, researchers, practitioners, and so on. So choose expert and then uh, make a group and then ask them their uh, opinion using a questionnaire or survey. Then uh, summarize their uh, opinion, then again and again. And then based on uh, their uh, opinion, then if we can uh, get data, then use data and then uh, uh, quantitative uh, method. This is the uh, Delphi method. And next one, time series analysis. Data here, uh, first week the uh, actual demand uh, data is 800, next week 1,400, 1,000, and so on like this. Then actual uh, data fluctuate like this. So simply find the kind of an average, certain terms in, uh, average and then using that average itself for the uh, forecast or I will show you uh, the data. This one is two days, um, up to today. The California uh, coronavirus uh, daily case. Looks like uh, up to this point, increasing trend. And then after this uh, day, date, decrease like this. But long term knee increase and decrease, but short term knee, look at this, increase, decrease, increase, decrease. The same pattern, increase, decrease, increase, decrease, increase, decrease, and so on like this. So, um, certain uh, state reports, they call a three-day uh, rolling average. So add uh, three days and then average, and then uh, they report uh, three day by three day. Or some uh, state report seven day moving average because during uh, weekday, the case increase and the weekend case decrease during weekdays increase weekend 
decrease, and so on. And then uh, somebody said that trend, uh, like a uh, weekly uh, trend pattern, because of uh, the number of uh, tests, so during uh, week, weekdays, test, the number of tests increase. And then uh, during the weekend, like a Saturday and Sunday, uh, they close. So test, the number of tests uh, decrease. So number of uh, tests and then uh, the number of uh, daily case. Based on my research, move together. So to offset that uh, variation, many cases use uh, seven day moving average. So uh, uh, add all seven days and then divide by seven and then next, next, next. Then um, if we do, then uh, this uh, the line, more smooth. So using this a simple moving average technique for forecasting and also uh, smooth data. So we can uh, say a moving average technique or smoothing uh, technique. So if we use three weeks, three terms average, Then like this. So it's like F forecasting term four equals actual T minus one. So actual T minus one is three plus actual t minus two is two plus actual t minus three is one and then divide by three so that will be a hundred plus fourteen hundred plus one thousand divide by three and next term, next term, previous three uh, actual data, add, divide by three, next, and so on like this. Then if we use nine uh, weeks, previous nine weeks, add, and then divide by nine, next, 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 like this. So by hand calculation, we can do it. I made an example uh, Excel file on Moodle. So you can download this. Example file, Excel file, and the file is this one. So example one, the same one. So if we use the Excel, then can you uh, download that this file? Then uh, if you can uh, do it together. You know, I have, uh, I use two monitors. So one is on the right side and one is on the left side. So uh, I can uh, do uh, like uh, both simultaneously. Your case, if you don't have uh, two monitors or uh, 
just use on only one monitor, then uh, you can split uh, screen like this, and then uh, maybe on right side and the, uh, the zoom, and then the left side and the, what you do, or uh, left side and right side. And, uh, it doesn't matter. So if you have uh, used uh, two monitors, then uh, it's convenient. But uh, only one monitor, then uh, you can uh, split. OK, uh, if we want uh, forecast using a simple moving average for the term four, and then using uh, three terms, then uh, click uh, a cell there. Then, uh, you know, uh, Excel equal sign, type equal sign. Then if I uh, click uh, that uh, cell, then uh, here, cell number. But if I type equal sign, then it change as a function. Then there, you can use average function or you can add or uh, divide by whatever term. But anyway, this one is a uh, moving average. So average, and then specify three terms, previous three terms, and then equal enter. And then it again. After uh, enter, have to change, then uh, move your cursor on right and bottom side, then of that cell that it change like a uh, plus sign, then uh, double click, it change. And then, uh, you know, uh, as you know, every Z from uh, B2, B4, that is uh, this area. change cell, then this one change, B3 to B5, B4 to B6. Uh, earlier I uh, mentioned this uh, without a uh, dollar sign, they are relative uh, value. And then uh, if we uh, make it a uh, dollar B, dollar four, that is absolute value, then uh, no change even the uh, cell change. And then uh, nine term, if we want to forecast uh, tenth, then the same equal sign, average, and then previous nine terms, then enter, and then double click. Uh, move cursor right uh, bottom side and then have to change the sign uh, uh, looks like a uh, plus sign then double click then automatically change like this so uh, it is uh, simple simple but uh, useful I don't know if you need this. In, uh, oops. So, without uh, hand calculation using a formula, uh, we can uh, do it. Uh, in Excel, 
easy and uh, simple, convenient. Okay, next one. So, uh, um, actual demand uh, fluctuate this much, but uh, if we use the three terms, uh, moving average, then it's uh, more smooth than actual, and then uh, more terms make more smooth. So, if we uh, later we will. Uh, Mm, talk about uh, uh, regression analysis. So if we use uh, this raw data, then uh, the function we made uh, for the forecasting may be uh, not accurate. So uh, increasing accuracy, we may use uh, this uh, smoothing technique, moving uh, average technique, uh, make it smooth first, and then using that uh, uh, smoothing data for the forecasting. Maybe, uh, so uh, um, this smoothing or uh, moving average technique uh, itself, uh, we can use this uh, moving average or uh, smoothing uh, technique itself for the forecasting, or uh, using this smoothing or a moving average Z technique for the uh, more accurate uh, forecasting, like uh, change data, adjust the data. Next one is weighted moving average Sometimes, sometimes, uh, certain terms, uh, data uh, importance different. So uh, idea is like this. Most recent data more, more important than uh, more pa past data uh, importance and less, then uh, give a high, higher um, uh, weight based on uh, importance. So uh, most, most recent 0 0.4, uh, second recent 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, like this. And then anyway, uh, the sum of all weights equal to one. So 0 0.4 times 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 uh, will be one. Just like now, 0 0.4 plus 0.3 plus 0.2 plus 0.1 equals one. And then if we use now five terms, then uh, we may uh, give uh, 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.2, to point, uh, 0.2, 0.1, uh, 0.22, uh, another 2, and then uh, 0.1 like this. Then uh, 0.3 plus 0 0.2, 0.2 plus 0.1 equals 1. So anyway, the sum of all weight should be one. So uh, uh, using this uh, weight, then uh, 0.4 weight times this one plus 0.3 times this one plus uh, 0.2 times the uh, next one and so on. So 97.5. So this is an weighted uh, moving average Z. Then example, another example. If we have a uh, term five, uh, month five actual demand, 
and use the same weight. So 0.4 times now 110 plus 0.3, 95, 0.105 plus 0.1, 90, and equals now 102.5. Then another uh, smoothing or uh, moving average uh, technique, exponential smoothing. The same idea, the most recent occurrence are more indicative. So give uh, highest weight for the most recent, next and then next. So, Using this formula, using this formula, we can get uh, weight. And then based on this alpha, we call this alpha as smoothing constant, smoothing constant. So based on uh, what you want to, uh, how uh, much uh, make it smooth so using high alpha smoothing constant then it's not much uh, smooth then use the uh, low uh, smoothing constant alpha then uh, more smooth like this so based on uh, 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 how much now make it uh, smooth. So using a formula, this one, forecasting t term equals forecasting previous term, one uh, term earlier, plus given alpha times actual demand one term earlier minus forecasting one term earlier. So example, if the month is, uh, last month is forecast is 22,000. So last month is forecast, this one is F T minus one, and then uh, twenty one thousand loves or actual demand. So this one is A T minus one. So F T minus one twenty two thousand plug in alpha given point oh one here. And the actual 21, F T minus one, 22,000. So plug in twenty two thousand plus point oh one alpha times twenty one thousand actual here, the minus T minus one is one then 21,990 logs. This is an exponential smoothing uh, technique or moving average technique. An exponential smoothing uh, with trend. If we use exponential um, smoothing technique, then uh, one thing uh, problem leg legs behind lagging behind. It's like this. The actual demand move like this. If we use 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, smoothing constant, then it's smooth like this, and then 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15
more smooth and so on. Then actual top is here, but using alpha 0.5, top is here. So it's kind of delay, and then delay more, delay more, and so on. So to offset this error, we use one more smoothing constant delta. So using this delta and then using formula more complicated. So we call this the forecast uh, smooth, uh, exponential smoothing with the trend or using this forecast including trend so fit so fit term t equals ft plus tt then ft forecast using only alpha is like an uh, exponential uh, smoothing so one term earlier fit plus alpha given actual demand one term earlier minus fit one term earlier after calculate this one then term uh, trend term t equals one term earlier trend plus delta given and then ft forecast uh, t, term t after calculation this one plug in and then minus fit term one term earlier example if f11 forecast Exponential using exponential smoothing forecast term 11 equals 100, then trend term 11 equals 5, given alpha is 0.1 and delta is 0.3, and then actual demand one term earlier is uh, 110. Then FIT forecast including trend. Term 12. Before we use uh, the formula, this FIT 12 equals F12 plus T12. Then uh, F12 equals FIT 11, one term earlier, plus alpha times actual one term earlier minus FIT one term earlier. And then T12 equals T11 one term earlier plus delta times F12 minus FIT11. So from given information, to get F12, we need FIT11, but uh, it's not given. But alpha is given, A11 is given, delta is given. After uh, calculation, then now uh, we can get this one. And then T11 is given. So given information, we don't have this one. But from this idea, FIT T equals FT 
plus tt. So if we need fit t minus 1, then f t minus 1 plus t t minus 1. So if t minus 1 is fit, we need 11. We need fit 11. Then that will be f11 plus t11. So f11 is given, t11 is given. So f11 equals 100 plus t11 is 5, so 105. So we know fit11 now. So just plug in, then we can get F12 and uh, T12, then we can get uh, FIT12. So first we need FIT11, so F11 plus T11, 100 plus 5 equals 105. Then plug in 105 alpha 0.1 and then actual 110 minus 105 equals 105.5 then t12 equals t11 5 plus 0.3 delta and f12 105.5 minus fit11 105 plus 5.15 so fit 12 equals F12 105.5 plus the T12 5.15 equals 110.65. Complicate, right? Looks complicated. Okay. Change screen. Example number two. Okay, um, about five uh, minute break. Now uh, six forty eight. I will uh, come back uh, six fifty five. So. Uh, uh, If you want to look at this, uh, uh, or if you uh, didn't uh, download the uh, download, and see you uh, six fifty five.
Yeah, I'm back. Make it bigger. By the way, um, you have one an assignment here. So if you can uh, follow me. Okay, um, first I will uh, write formula. So uh, for each terms FIT to get FIT, we need formula FIT T equals FT plus TT and then FT equals FIT T minus one plus alpha the A T minus one minus FIT T minus one. So uh, for this cell, FIT, like uh, uh, January is uh, let's say uh, one, equals F1 plus T1. So this cell will be F1 plus T1. So type this in a cell, click this cell, and then type equal sign. And then uh, we need uh, this one plus this one. FIT1, this is the FIT1. So T1 plus uh, F1 plus T1, so equals F1, F1 plus T1. Enter. And is 12. And then uh, FIT 12, uh, at FIT 2, here, FIT. Two equals F two plus T two. Then uh, F two equals from this one F I T one time earlier one plus alpha times a t, uh, t minus one is one minus f i t one and then t t equals t t minus one plus delta f t minus f i t t minus one so T2 equals T1 plus delta F2 minus FIT1. So to get this FIT2, we need here and here. 
then uh, we can get this one. So first we need F2, click this cell, then equal sign. We need F1, FIT, uh, FIT1, this is F2, FIT1, this one, plus alpha, alpha is here, so click this one, and then we will use this alpha all the way the same, so make it uh, absolute value. So type F4, then it change. Again, so we need alpha, so click this and then F4 function key F4, then it change dollar $B, dollar $15. So change that uh, value as an absolute value. So uh, now we need alpha plus alpha, uh, alpha and then times, times, parentheses open, and then A1, A1 is here. Click this one, A1, and minus FIT1, so FIT1 is here, FIT1, and then close, and this is, That's all, enter. And we need this one, T2. So T2 equals T1, T1 uh, equals sign one first, equal, oops. <laughs> I cannot see. Uh, <laughs> um, T1, so just the type now, cell number, this one is D2, D2, so type D2, plus, if you cannot um, click, then uh, you can just uh, type uh, the cell uh, number, then plus delta is here. So I'll click delta and then absolute value times open parenthesis and F2, this one minus FIT1, this one, then close, enter. And then this one, this one plus this one, FIT2 equals F2 plus T2, so equals, this one plus, and this one, enter. And then move cursor, right side, the bottom, Now it's not uh, complete because this one is not uh, yet. 
change it like this. Then uh, I want, I need only two decimal point. What do you think? Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. You're watching the video again, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I will do it again. So this one, uh, first we uh, fill out uh, forecasting FT and then uh, TT here and then uh, this one is equal this plus this one and then we need this uh, this one equals FIT plus alpha absolute value and then times open parenthesis a one term earlier minus fit one term earlier enter and then this one equals i cannot uh, click so type D2 plus delta click and then F4 change absolute value times open parenthesis FT minus FIT one term earlier close enter and this one, I did this one already, so just you know, move cursor like this. And then it's like the you know a uh, uh, copy. Then here, double click, double click, double click. And done. So uh, uh, if you can uh, get this one and this one, then automatically uh, you can get this and then uh, just the double click, double click, double click, then uh, done. Okay. Okay, next one. Causal relationship uh, using a linear regression analysis. Regression a function relationship between two or more correlated variables. So using X variable and Y variable. Uh, if we use only one uh, X variable, then uh, we call that uh, simple linear regression. If we use uh, multiple X variables, independent variables, then uh, we call that uh, multiple linear regression analysis. To um, develop the function y equals the function so using y equals no, a plus bx that is like uh, using uh, the data, then find certain line, 
y equals a plus bx. So this intercept is a and then slope is b and then y axis and then x axis. So to find this function, the linear line using this actual data, we use linear uh, list uh, squares method. List square method So using actual data like this, and then develop this uh, line, the equation or function, find distance between forecasting line and actual. So distance y minus y this one is actual and then forecast. So distance here and distance next one, next one, next one, next one, and then square. So distance between forecast and actual square, then using derivative can find formula for A and for B. So B equals sum of x, y minus n sample size times uh, average of x variable, average of y variable divided by sum of x variable square minus sample size and average of x square. After get a, a b, then we can get a average of the y variable minus b slope and times uh, average of the x variable. So if we have data like this, then uh, we need x times y, so x times y, and then uh, we need x square, and then we need uh, x bar, y bar, and x bar square, and some of them, then plug in like this, then, uh, a is 441.7, B is 359.61. So using uh, A and B, we can develop this equation. So using this equation, we can forecast. So, I will write y equals 441.7 plus 359.61 x. Then oh. so using this equation, we can get a uh, forecast now y that is. This one equals 441 plus 359.61 times x variable is this one, so one. 
equals 441 plus 359.6 times 2. So x variable now time series data. Because time change, then uh, this value change. So January, February, March, April, May, and December, like this. So if we want to forecast demand for uh, March next year, March next year. So X value, X value is uh, time series data. So next year, uh, January, X variable 13, uh, February 14, and uh, March 15, and so on. So, March next year, value of X variable is 15, so plug in in this uh, equation, then we can get uh, March forecast demand. Okay, uh, go back to the Excel file again. And I will show you. Example three. Here, x variable, y variable, January, February, and so on. But this one is not uh, numeric uh, data. So we need uh, one more um, column. So this is one, two, three. So x variable. Is. So let's say uh, x variable. Are you following me? Yes. Okay, yes. good. And then uh, on the data menu bar, this data analysis. Do you have this data analysis function? Do you have or not? I do not. Okay, that case. No, that case. Click yeah, file. Click file. and go down to options, click. Then uh, that uh, data analysis uh, function is add-in, one of add-in, so click add-ins. Then uh, this window change, then click go. Then uh, you can see uh, analysis in the tool pack, but it's unchecked like this. Because this uh, uh, analysis in the tool pack is in basic uh, uh, default uh, add-in, but uh, it's unchecked, then uh, you can see that menu, but check this one 
and then OK. Then you can see data analysis here. OK. OK, are you, are you ready? OK, now data analysis then find uh, regression. Highlight by click on that regression and then click OK. Then a little window like this. And then this one asks specify input range of Y and X variable. Y variable demand. Do it again. Click this in a box and then a cursor a blink and then click first cell and then dragging down specify and then next we need x variable so click that box then x variable specify. And uh, I included labor on first and raw, so I should check labors. If you don't, like at, uh, I will not uh, include. If I don't include uh, label like this, without a label, just uh, specified numbers, then uh, you don't have to uh, uh, check these labels. It doesn't matter, include or not, uh, but uh, let's include label. Okay, then um, I will uh, uh, produce output uh, in the same here. So, oops, not that one. This one. I have to click this one and click this box. Then uh, click wherever you want. I will uh, display output there then click OK or make it uh, bigger or too much where are you where are you Come on, come on. Uh -uh. <laughs> what the? Oh, what? Um, yeah, I found. So uh, from this output, this part, intercept and x, so from this output we can develop that equation. So this one is A. And this one is P. So Y equals A plus BX. So equals A is this one. 401.7 plus B is this. 
59.6x. Okay, I will compare 441.7 plus 359.6. By hand calculation, we made the same, right? So I'll go back to Excel screen. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> right again. So y equals 359.6 plus oh, no, 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 no. y equals a is this one 441.7 plus 369.6 point six one x so if we want y15 then uh, 441.7 plus 369.61 x is 15 then use y 15 equals oh, equals 441 so click this one plus open parenthesis this one times times 15. Five, 5, uh, 7496. So you can uh, use uh, the basic or regular uh, Excel data analysis or I will um, show another one on Moodle I uploaded this now another add-in Excel uh, add-in Megastat Mega stat. This one is uh, similar to uh, data analysis uh, adding, but this one is uh, more uh, powerful and uh, more uh, functional. So click this one and then download. Then uh, after download somewhere like that in the download uh, directory then uh, open Excel I have Megastat here uh, in a data uh, menu bar but you don't have this one. To get this one, the same uh, process, procedure, click file, and that also uh, add-ins. So uh, uh, click option and add-ins and go. Then uh, I have the uh, mega step here and uh, checked. But you don't have even a mega stat there. That case, browse, 
then find the megastat uh, from where uh, you download and click that one then op open and you can see megastat in uh, this area and then automatically is uh, checked then uh, click OK then uh, you can see megastat So after uh, you have megastat add-in, then click add, oops, what the? <laughs> I should do it again. Ah, oh, come on. We'll uh, reload, reload now. Excel again. Okay, I will reload. What the? Something problem. Gee. This one. And I need to uh, reinstall. Let me see. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> What's the problem? Recently, I uh, uh, we installed uh, my Excel then uh, maybe problem. Okay, um, I will show uh, that mega step thing uh, next time. I will fix it. But you can do uh, your assignment using uh, this uh, data analysis. So uh, that's okay. Um, I will fix this one uh, and then next in a week uh, I will uh, show how to use the Megastat. Okay, um, I think um, I think that's all for uh, tonight's uh, what I uh, prepared. Okay, um, uh, last in the screen is uh, about the output, uh, this one. Okay, uh, that's all. And you have uh, an assignment. I will bring up. This one, so uh, open and then download question and uh, data. Then uh, similar to uh, what we uh, did to, uh, tonight. So I tried uh, this one and then uh, the due is next Wednesday night. So just uh, try, okay? Okay, that's all. Uh, if you have a question, do you have a question? No? no question. Okay. No. Okay, good. Thank you. Good night and see Thank you next you. Tuesday.
Have a good night. Good. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.